Good morning and welcome everyone at home or in the office to our very first virtual launch, the Allianz Smart Retail Shield. As this is our first virtual launch, social distancing and wearing face masks won't be easy as we are doing this event live. But rest assured, we practice this safety procedure on a daily basis. I'm Gary from Corporate Comms Department of Allianz Malaysia Berhad. And to kick off our agenda today, I'd like to invite Wayne Lim, CEO and Group Chief Editor of Malaysia SME Media Group to give us an insight into the SME landscape today. Continue to operate post 
CMCO and post this COVID-19 pandemic. But one very important fundamental of doing business, which I would like to remind all my brothers in the MSME community is, please ensure cash is key. Please remember to manage your operation cost wisely. You might not be aware that even in the new SOP of running business, wearing a mask, providing hand sanitizers, all this will add to a cost of doing business. So before you realize it, when before it is too late, you must make sure you know how to handle all these new SOP requirement in the most cost-effective manner. Last but not least, once again, I would like to thank Alias on behalf of all the MSME community for this timely launch of this new free insurance program. I wish Alliance all the best in this launch and of course, I would like to wish all my brothers and sisters in the MSME community all the best in your business in the new normal. Thank you. Thank you, Wayne. Before I invite the next speaker, he looks Caucasian, has a German name, but he is as Malaysian as one and yet has been living in Malaysia for the last 25 years. Just spend five minutes with him and you'll know what I mean. Let me introduce now Horst Habig, Allianz General's Chief Sales Officer, to speak about Allianz Smart Retail Chill. Horst, the floor is all yours. Um, really, we are very, very excited to have our first virtual product launch here and that you uh, spend your time online of watching us. So I hope we will make it worth your time and at the end you will say it was time well spent. Now, uh, let me just jump into the sad news of the day. We are living, as you all know and experience, in very difficult times. These are newspaper headings which you will see every day and it's not only in Malaysia. It's in my home country, Germany, as well. It's globally that uh, SMEs, business owners, are struggling, some more than others. But if you are not, by chance, a producer of face masks, I think you are suffering. So that is why here in Allianz, uh, in the last one or two months, we were sitting together and thinking, what can we do? What can we do to uh, help, to support, but of course, as well, sell products into the business community and we try to put ourselves into your shoes we try to think how can we become a partner how can we think as a partner so we came up with what type of problems you might have you business owners you a hairdresser you a retail shop you a supermarket you a restaurant and we're thinking number one certainly everybody who has a reduction in profits a reduction in turnover has to look at their overhead expenses. So first problem, somehow cut your expenses. Number two is there are new risks evolving and developing because of this virus. You're opening up now. You have to note down telephone number and name of every one of your customer. And what happens if one of them or one of your staff or maybe even yourself contracts corona, you will have by order of the Ministry of Health close down your shop disinfect and get all your staff tested and that's not a cheap affair just to tell you uh, if you want to disinfect 10,000 square feet of business premise it will cost you at least 15,000 ringgit so that's the second problem we are thinking of third problem is basically we all and especially uh, you as SMEs and business owner have to increase your marketing to get customers there into your shop you have to give discounts you have to do promotions and this increases, of course, the cost you have for marketing. So this is actually what we were thinking of and having in the back of our mind when we develop this particular product and the service surrounding it. So why not we go a little bit into detail on this one. But before we do so, let me show you what else can happen. Uh, here you can see a kitchen, a very normal kitchen. I guess the cook was trying to cook fried rice and uh, it gets out of control. This is just one example of what can happen 
with a fire. Here you can see if you have a storefront with glass, how easily it is uh, that it gets broken, basically. And statistics show us that in Malaysia, uh, last year alone, we had about 8,000 burglary and theft cases. And uh, there are risks, not the new ones which I'm mentioning, but risks which are very, very present these days. And uh, OK. So this basically, just to give you an intro, uh, why not we go into the product? So here you can see uh, what we want to do. You have to have for your business premise a fire insurance. So what we do in this product, we give you the most uh, possible a competitive uh, price for fire uh, by tariff and then beside the fire insurance we have basically arranged a package for every SME owner pretty much tailored to 27 different occupations which the normal retail shop restaurants and so on belong to where we feel uh, this basic cover you need it comes with burglary insurance money in the premise as well as in transit when you bring it to the bank. It comes with a glass insurance for your storefront. It comes with an all risk insurance for all your equipment which you have in your shop as well as with the whole liability part of public liability as well as your liability as an employer. And this basic cover as you can see it's about 10,000 to 100,000 ringgit worth uh, we give you for free. This coverage is for one year what will happen next year, we will have to see whether we can continue giving it for free. Depends very much on the situation. But this is the core of our Allianz Retail Shield product, a fire insurance plus a basic cover uh, for all the other required uh, perils. So uh, this is not, uh, this will not help to solve your problems in regards to overhead expenses but it will certainly help to reduce them a little bit by paying less for the same thing which you need. The second point we wanted to make here, and remember I mentioned the danger of closing your shop because you have a COVID case within your customers or staff. So here you have an example that the factory had to close uh, after uh, some COVID-19 cases, and you hear this in the news. And like I mentioned before, it will cost you quite some money to disinfect and test your staff. So within our Allianz Retail Shield, we have a module you can choose with different plans where we pay you a daily inconvenience benefit if your business is shut down, either by a fire or the perils surrounding fire or a COVID-19 case. So it depends on what you want to choose, how many days, what type of uh, payout you want to have. The maximum payout would be 2,000 ringgit per day. Just to give you an example so that you have an idea, a normal retail shop like a boutique or something like that, uh, if you would like to have a 1,000 ringgit daily uh, uh, sum insured, it would cost you about 68 ringgit a year. So and there is a real chance uh, of closing down, so I would always recommend to attach this particular module into your cover. Now, the last bit I wanted to make here in regards to the product service, what we are doing is, like I mentioned before, we want to not only have you have a customer, we want to have a partner. And in order to do that, we also have to try to support and to help you bring the word out that your business is open, that you are selling or servicing customers. Uh, and we as Allianz in Malaysia have uh, quite a large uh, customer base. We have our own web page, we have social media. So what we are doing and what we are offering you as our partner to do is to advertise. Advertise on our website, advertise on our social media. Um, and then maybe, I don't know how much it will help you, but uh, since it doesn't cost you anything, I hope it will help to get the word out. And once we are in a partnership, it can go also further that we proactively can advertise your restaurant, your shop, your promotion, your discount, whatever you want to do proactively to our customer base.
that will certainly increase your exposure. Yes, so let me one more time show you the highlights of this product. Maybe you can put on the slide. Uh, I don't want to bore you with the details uh, what is fire insurance, what is burglary insurance. So there is a link attached to this uh, Facebook Live and YouTube uh, uh, stream here where you can click and you will get to the Allianz product page uh, where you can see all the details of the products, the whole coverage and everything. The highlights here, as you can see, uh, the COVID cover, I, I mentioned this, there are no deductibles. Uh, we have tried to make this product uh, very simple, so it will be very simple for you to buy it, and it will be very, very simple to claim if you have an unfortunate incident. However, the packages we're offering you are also uh, meant to be tailorized. So if you, for example, feel uh, 10,000 ringgit, which you offer me for free in this package is not enough, you need 20,000, it is very easily adjusted. So. As you can see, we have tried to design a product with you as partners in mind. And we will not stop doing that. So we launched this product today, but as the situation evolves, also with Corona, I'm pretty sure uh, we have very creative team members here in Allianz. We will think of other things which we can add, and we want to be, it to be a living product which adapts to circumstances, which is something we have to do these days uh, all, right? Our lives has changed. Everybody's talking about a new normal. Uh, and the new normal for me is that things will change even quicker. We don't know when the border open, what will happen, do we have a second wave, and so on. So we will try to adapt our service, our approach, and our product uh, according to this for you as well. But then again, this product is a promise. It's a promise that when you have an unfortunate incident, uh, we will be there to help you and to pay your claim. Uh, so why would you buy from Allianz? Is Allianz somebody you can trust, somebody who can give you this promise? So I just wanted to make two points about Allianz for you. The one is, we are the largest insurance company in Malaysia. Uh, I'm not saying this to boast and say we have the most money, no. We are uh, a company who has 35 branches all over the country, from Cebu over Sandakan to uh, Johor Bahru and Alostar in the north. Everywhere there's a team of Allianz people very close to you, very close to your business location to service you and to help you when you are in need. On top of this, we are supported by 7,000 very professional agents from Allianz who also are in all these places and will be able to advise you to tailor the product to you, as well as to help you when you are in need, when you have a claim. This brings me straight to one point which I wanted to make. This particular product, Allianz Retail Shield, you will not be able to buy online. You will not be able to buy directly from Allianz. The only way to become our partner is to uh, engage an Allianz agent, because we feel that every business is a little bit different and our agents will be able to advise you properly and tailor this product and explain it to you properly, as well as, like I said, when you are in need, when you have a claim, the agent will be there to help you. The second point why I would recommend you to choose Allianz as your insurance partner is our claim service. Here again, also, we have about 100 people in the head office. We're having claims hubs all over the country, and our branches are dealing with claims as well. So if there is a claim, we will be there. Just to give you an example, uh, our commitment is that any claim, we will pay at least half of it within the first seven days after you have made this claim. So we are trying to be very fast to give you the chance to open and to run your business as quickly as possible again. So, dear SME owners, dear agents, dear members of the press, if you have liked what you see, if you feel that this is interesting enough for you to at least get a little bit more information and get somebody to advise you, then I would recommend really look for the next Allianz agent, give them a call. If you don't know any Allianz agents, 
Maybe you ask your friends whether they know somebody. If you don't have any friends, no, no, sorry, this is, Ger this is Malaysia, not Germany. Of course you have friends. But maybe your friends don't know uh, an agent as well. Then uh, please just shoot a very short email to me. That is my email address, horst.habig at allianz.com.my. Just take a short screenshot, and I will make sure that I will recommend an agent very close to your uh, uh, business premise uh, for you to contact. Well, this is actually as much as I wanted to say, and uh, let me finish my session with, uh, it's rainy season, you, you guys all know that, right? When you, every evening at five or six o'clock go out of the window, it's raining a lot. But not only the water, but also the whole situation with the virus is quite severe. So we as Allianz cannot guarantee you that you don't get wet these days. But what we can promise you is that we won't let you drown if we can help it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attention. And now it's my pleasure to hand you over to my friend and colleague, the CEO of Allianz Malaysia Berhad, Enchik Zakri. Thank you. Hi, um, welcome to Allianz and welcome to our Smart uh, Shoe uh, virtual launch. You know, uh, this is the first time that I'm doing this and I'm kind of nervous. It's always easier, like what Wayne said, it's always easier to speak to a crowd than to speak to a room of a quite empty room, just speaking to a particular camera. I can't even see my face, so, you know. so I apologize if I look a bit comical and I am a bit nervous. Okay, anyway, first of all, I would like to thank Wayne Lim uh, for being part of this particular event. Uh, it was important to have him because financing is the key um, critical uh, uh, element today, especially amongst the SMEs. And we thought with this particular push of asking SMEs that there is available financing. And that's what basically the message of Wayne is to you. Okay. The next is, of course, my colleague Horst Abik, the man with the umbrella, okay. protection. Um, Horst has been here for, I don't know, maybe three decades in Malaysia. And he's more Malaysian than, than any one of us anyway, so it's okay. But that's a story for another day. Okay. Um, what is the landscape today? We have I'm reaching out to basically what we're trying to reach out to is the landscape of slightly over a million, but 1.08 million uh, SMEs, which include the micro enterprises, which employs 10 million people, close to 10 million people. So this is basically the heartbeat of the foundation of the economy. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look all around the world, no economy can survive without the SMEs. So you're very important to us. Now, why we're saying it's very important? Because more so now, when the statistics show that 70% of SMEs basically saw a drop immediately after the uh, drop in sales, immediately after the uh, MCO was announced. So basically, there was nobody out and nobody was there to consume your products and services. And thus, uh, basically, you had no customers. Now, as a result of that, very few said that they can survive the cash flow can survive. So we're talking about a very critical period in which SMEs are you know, facing now. I'm not trying to be a harbinger of doom, but I'm just telling you this is the landscape. It is indeed a very difficult landscape. So what do we do as Allianz? Our job is basically trying to equalize your risk. Now, for those of you who will continue uh, business, we want to be able to tell you that you're important. Now, what we realized during the MCO is many of the SMEs don't even have any form of insurance. And this is not good. So the realize, like, like realization is never too late. And it's now that more so now when your cash flow is impacted and your life savings is online because online because that's the business that you have, it's all invested in the business that you have, it is time that you need to protect it. So now we think that we as Allianz, it's only natural because we're an insurance company, but it was also the fact that we realized that if we don't protect you, then we don't protect the heartbeat of the nation. 
and this is where we are offering this particular product for you. Now, as what Horst illustrated, there are many unique and features of particular this product, uh, which you probably can also relook at this video and understand it better, or call one of our very good agents. Now, let me say this about you. Insurance is all about explanation. And that is why Allianz, we sell through an agent, because the agent will be able to tell you exactly what it's all about. Of course, in this current situation, face-to-face -face sales are not particularly encouraged or allowed. Nevertheless, over a phone or video chat, I believe the agent will be able to illustrate this cover for you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, some would say that we, would, we are speaking from a privileged position because we are a large insurance company. But actually, we are humbled. Humbled by the fact that the courage shown by the SMEs during the course of the MCO, I have seen personally many of the SMEs remain open. And why? Not so much to the cash flow, but also the responsibility for consumers to consume. And this is something very important. So we in Alliance, we salute you. Like we salute the frontliners, we think SMEs also are frontliners because they are there to keep the engine moving. Without you, then it will be even more uh, the economic landscape will be, will be a big barren desert. Now, it is already very difficult now with the extension of CMCO until uh, June. Um, and we can only hope that you take heart and the courage to continue with your business. And if you feel that there is a partner that you would like to have to help you with the risks, and like what my colleague said, we will honor our words because in terms of our claims, we will be there for you. Then choose Alliance because we think that um, we would be sensitive and we would know basically what is it that you need. Again, call our agent. Our agent, he or she, will be able to tell you and provide you all the necessary information in respect to the particular product. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, I think it's time for us to launch the particular product and now I would like to invite my colleague Horst Habik to join me and where we will be able to. Yes, hello, here I am again and uh, since it is a live telecast on Facebook and as well on YouTube, uh, of course not everything is going according to plan. So we have a nice video to launch the Allianz Retail Shield officially but there are some technical difficulties, so we were asked to talk a little bit more uh, because oh. the video is not yet uh, uh, on. But it was what he was signaling to me about this. Now. Yeah, this, okay. so we have some <laughs> team behind the camera who was signaling to us, do more, do more. But I don't know whether you really are interested to hear a story from uh, my family in Germany or something like that. But uh, I guess what we could do instead by waiting on the video. Uh, now we get, you see, you, you, you cannot see what we see. We see the team behind with a lot of computers and camera, and one is doing like this, the other one is doing like no, this. It's, it's, you know, so, yeah. But I guess now the video is ready, so we officially okay, now we are happy we to launch the Allianz the Retail Shield. On one, two, three. <laughs>
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, now we are doing a question and answer session for the members of the press who had the opportunity over the last one or two hours to ask questions and we will answer them all one by one, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. So, okay, the first question is from Sherilyn of Malaysian SME. Share about your collaboration with Malaysia SME. Question one. Okay. Okay. Um, basically, our collaboration is going uh, through the association to Wayne, who was here this morning as well with the magazine. Uh, we are trying to be part uh, of the uh, Malaysian Retailer Chain Association of Malaysian Association of SME, as well as of the publications uh, uh, who are dealing with SMEs. So by this, we feel we can learn a lot about what is the heartbeat, what are the things uh, which are troubling uh, or happening in the moment to SMEs. So in this way, yes, that's our collaboration with them. I think uh, I'd like to add to that. Um, the SME magazines, uh, SME is uh, one way we how to reach out to the SMEs. Um, prior to this, we've not really done so. Uh, we will be looking to a lot more collaboration uh, because I think information uh, flow towards the SMEs is very important. And uh, we see the SME uh, as one of the uh, conduits in which we can disseminate good information to the members of the uh, SME community. Next question. Okay, question two from Kit of BFM. How has COVID-19 and the MCOs affected Allianz expansion plans for the rest of the year? Oh, okay. I don't know what about, I don't know anything about an expansion plan, but okay. Um, COVID-19 has um, impacted all of us. But I think, let's be very frank and upfront about it. The insurance industry is one of the more, um, how do you say, insulated industries when it comes to recession. Generally, it's, it's a fact that people will still need to protect their risk and therefore will still buy insurance. So on that particular note, I think the insurance industry will still be around. However, consumption of insurance products will drop because um, Consum uh, because consumption is based on uh, income and basically disposable income. So as you know, there will be quite a number of layoffs and people will be out of a job, uh, unemployment, blah, blah, blah. This will impact um, the ability to buy uh, insurance products because insurance will never be on top of the list because your food and security and blah, 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 all these other things are much more important than um, um, insurance. We'll still be there, um, but growth will be much more slower. Growth, uh, it, it, there might be even a regression of women's, but you know, the insurance industry will still be there. If I, if I might add, basically when you talk about expansion, I think uh, this is not the time to expand and open up new branches and, and widen the distribution network. It's more of mental expansion. Thinking about like what we did with the Allianz Retail Shield product, just look at what are the new risks, what is the new normal, and how can we as an insurance company adapt to it, not only by uh, giving another insurance, but also what kind of services can we add to this insurance which will accompany all this new risk. So that expansion we are thinking about and on a daily basis looking at it. Thank you. Okay, we have another uh, few more questions from Keith of BFM. So his next one is, Many have seen the adoption of digitalization as a necessity post-COVID-19. Will this accelerate Allianz efforts and how will this affect agents who primarily still function face-to-face? -face? Okay, uh, i take this first. Please. First of all, um, Allianz, let's speak for Allianz. We have been on the digital uh, pathway of, of basically digitizing our processes long before this particular um, <coughs> difficult period. Speak louder. Difficult period. So, um, what we are doing is continuing our process of digitizing our, our all our uh, the way how we do business, which includes also the agents. Now, I've asked, been asked this question many times, even prior to this, um, that 
online direct will replace agents. Let me stand in front of all of you and tell you that it won't. Because most people don't understand insurance and it has to be sold to you professionally. Yes, you might want to buy motor insurance, fine, I think online. Some of you will do that. Statistics shows you that in very mature markets, we're talking about probably only 20% of the population actually buying directly. And that also they buy motor insurance and travel. Today, we don't know when we're going to go to travel. So the travel insurance industry is, will follow the fortunes of the travel industry. So when people start to travel, then travel insurance will come. Motor insurance will be there. There will be people, slight uptake in terms of people feel that I can buy something cheaper online and they will buy. But mostly, people will still buy to an agent. Now, of course, face-to-face -face is not there physically. But there's, there's also such things as a phone call, a WhatsApp call, a video call, and online chats and stuff like that. We think that will be uh, more relevant and you will see a lot more of that in this particular moment. So I don't think much has changed in respect to um, how people buy because at the end of the day, um, people will still buy insurance and they will know who they want to talk to because they know they need more information. There is no possibility of a website being able to offer you every single answer to your particular question. No FAQ will be able to do that. Thus, an agent is key uh, in this particular process. Yeah, I guess what we believe in and what we are pushing for is digitization of our agents, digitization of a customer experience, which can be better with digital tools uh, brought by agents. But we firmly believe that the advice specifically to SMEs, to business owners, has to come from a person who can see and adapt the product according to the needs. And if you have a claim, we believe that you want to talk to a person and not to a machine. And that's why this is what we are building our future. Okay, uh, next question from Keith also. Allianz has made it through so far with no staff layoffs or reduction. What's the secret? Okay, uh, again, like uh, I, I will allude to the earlier uh, comment that I made. Um, we are particularly fortunate to be in the insurance industry as we are quite recession proof. Okay? But having said that, um, let us not speak too soon or perhaps I should touch wood. Thus far, we're not thinking of any particular layoffs or retrenchment whatsoever and there is no apparent need to do so. Okay? Um, but never say never, because things can happen. Uh, but at this present moment, um, clearly we are not in the position where we feel we need to resort to any of these uh, quite drastic measures. Now these are, uh, retrenchments and, uh, and layoffs are very difficult not only emotionally but financially as well. So one will question whether does it really make financial sense to do it because um, uh, at the end of the day um, you still have to have a huge payout as well or morally whether it is something you want to do now and I don't know of many organizations who, who actually want to do something like this now. So there's no secret for us, uh, it's just that there is no necessity at this present moment for us to resort to any of these particular um, uh, very difficult uh, decisions. Yeah. But if you, if I may add, if you ask really for the secret, the secret is in a situation like this you have many opportunities to cut your expenses. And it depends where you put staff. Is staff the first thing you want to cut, your expenses, or the last one? And I guess our secret is we cut everything else first and save everywhere else first before we start saving on stuff. That might be the secret. Next question, uh, we have about three questions from Zunaira of the Star. First question, with this new product, what kind of uptake are you expecting during the pandemic? Uh, Zunaira? Zunaira from the Zunaira Star. Zunaira from the Star. Thanks for the question and it, it's a question you always ask during a product launch. Uh, but we actually don't want to do a hard sell of this product. So we don't really have a number we want to achieve in one week, one month, one year. Uh, we're just putting it up there, trying to 
put our hard blood in it and uh, hope that the community, the business community, is, is taking it up. So honestly, I don't know what uptake we will have. Um, you ask me again in three months, maybe then I can give you a little bit more of an educated guess. Okay. Next question. Thank you. Next question. From Zunaira also, I think this is for Zakri. What is the outlook for the second half of this year for Allianz? <laughs> yeah. Um, first of all, we like everybody else, we like to survive the second half of the year. Nobody really knows what's going to happen in the second half. There's a lot of messengers of doom, uh, or, or do messages of doom, um, that say that it's going to be uh, very difficult. At the same time, there are people who say there's going to be uptake. Um, we'll go with the flow. Uh, we'll go with the flow. Uh, we think um, thus far, I would like to say, uh, as it, until May, we're still all right. We're still all right. Um, very happy to inform everybody that um, we're still above our sales of last year, the sales of last year, which is very, very good. So um, let's see. I can't, and we don't have many long term plans. Uh, we don't even have medium term plans. We have more short term plans. Um, and um, that's where we're going to go. Um, I, I know for sure that we'll still be around by the end of the year. And um, we'll be there next year and year on. So um, that's as much as I can say. I'm not going to offer any idea of what our plans are and stuff like that because I think it's just too early and maybe too irresponsible to say anything at this present moment. Next question. How has Allianz how was Allianz got, uh, being affected during the MCO? Has your own sales declined? If yes, how much year on year? No, I think I just mentioned it just now. Uh, we won't give you uh, We have to wait uh, for our second uh, half of the year results. But uh, let me just say that we are not behind last year. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, during the MCO, like uh, any other business, I guess uh, uh, the, the sales or the uptake of insurance from the population went of course down. Uh, mainly this is because you could not get your Rotex renewed for, for your car. That's why many people waited this two months to renew their car insurance and their Rotex. Uh, so whatever the downside was or the, the, the sales downturn over the MCO period, uh, now the next few weeks people start to renew their car insurance as well as their Rotex again it should come up. So. That's uh, one of the things we could, we could see. Next question, please. Um, this is from Sherilyn Malaysia SME. A little out of the title today, but as climate change threats are quite present these days, any plans for insurance to address climate change? In America, insurance companies that provide suffer loss. What? In America, insurance companies that provide coverage suffer losses. Okay. Yeah. Um, any particular new insurance product can't be expected to make money, right? You will basically have um, you start out a product and you have ten customers. Three might have a claim, and you. Uh, so, insurance is about the law of averages and the law of many. So, any particular new product would have to have a particular size, and it takes time to build up that particular portfolio. So. If an insurance company expects to make profit from day one, then I'm very sorry that person shouldn't be in insurance. Okay? Insurance is a very long-term business and it's got a lot of social responsibility connotations to those insurance. Now, coming back to climate change, we, um, I think Allianz, eh? I believe Allianz in Malaysia, we have been offering particular products. Not so much of protection against uh, I mean, actual climate uh, change, but we do a lot of work in the solar um, uh, space. Uh, we provide uh, a solar all-risk cover for people putting in the rooftops uh, and in terms of retail, and, I mean, for house, uh, residential houses as well as commercial houses. We provide insurances for uh, a lot of the solar projects. And we provide unique products like the smart retail machine, products that are tailor-made for uh, this particular industry. So in that way, we support the utilization of uh, solar power in Malaysia. 
last question. Last question. How many questions here? Another four. Okay. Next question also from Sherilyn. How is the insurance performance globally globally during COVID-19? <laughs> Hope Alliance can offer an insight into this. Okay, I think uh, there's enough information to suggest that it's not going to be pretty. Um, we have the situation in uh, Europe whereby in the UK whereby insurance industry will be faced with huge lawsuits for the pandemic cover that was offered to the various uh, uh, clients over there. So this is going to hit the insurance company hard. Um, I think um, similarly America, uh, we don't have this problem here because people don't buy insurance. So when you don't buy insurance, you don't even buy, if you don't buy the basic cover, you don't get this particular cover. So we don't have that particular problem here. Although, our problem in Asia will be more consumption. Um, and the hurricane season and the typhoon seasons have just about to start. So, um, we don't know how that will pan out. Perhaps Mother Nature will be kinder to us because the last couple of months, uh, there's been very little pollut pollu polluting of the earth. And perhaps that will have a positive impact, but I don't know. Um, it's very uncertain, but it's not going to be great. Global insurance uh, uh, performance this year will not be great. Okay. okay. Next question. Okay. Explain further about the special feature of flexible A to Z on the 30% less in its premium feature. Uh, but I, I have to ask. I, I don't really understand the question. <laughs> what, what? Oh. Okay, uh, I, I assume you are talking about fire insurance because fire insurance, as you might know, for the last 25 years was a tariff and about two years ago, Bank Negara allowed insurance companies to give a 30% discount from the tariff on fire insurance. So uh, we started doing this two years ago. Uh, some insurance companies do more, some do less. Uh, now, for this particular product, Allianz Retail Shield, the fire portion of it will have this 30% maximum allowable discount uh, from the tariff. I hope that answers the question. Thank you. But we are down to the last two questions. Yeah. So, uh, the second last one is from Yap from Oriental Daily. In your point of view, how does the COVID-19 affect the insurance industry? I think, uh, yeah, that's a very. Um, we will follow the fortune of the consumer. If the consumer is okay, we'll be okay. If the consumer is ready to buy insurance, we'll be there to sell. So, very much dependent on the consumer and the economic trend on the ground. So, likewise, we have a million over SMEs in Malaysia. If they start buying insurance, then we'll be fine. Uh, if they don't buy, then we will be affected as well. And one final question from Zunaira of the Star. Were there any default payments for Allianz by its customers? If yes, by how much? Okay. You know, in any recession um, or economic downturn, this will be an issue because of cash flow. Uh, we will have our fair share. Uh, at this present moment, uh, there's nothing major that is uh, happening in this particular space, but we anticipate that this will come more and more, especially come in October when the moratorium of loans are, uh, are over and people have to pay their loans as well as their daily needs. And then we will see a, a real cash flow crunch. Um, we will deal with it as it comes. Uh, we've always dealt with this very uh, professionally, very intelligently and very emotionally as well, because some of these people who are potentially will default are very, very old customers. So um, at this present moment, I can say we don't have much impact in respect to this. We will be able to see, we will be able to tell probably towards the end of the year. Uh, but like everything else, uh, we will manage this uh, well. Thank you. Okay. And with that final, final answer, we have come to the conclusion of today's Q&A.
Okay, thank you for watching. On behalf of Alliance Malaysia Berhad, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you at the next virtual launch. Thank you.